Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you probably seen by the title, um, I am getting a boob job, a breast augmentation, whatever you want to call it. Um, I This is currently the day before, so this is the Sunday the 22nd of May. Tomorrow is the 23rd is when I'll be going in for my surgery. Um, so yeah, I thought I would just show you the day before, so what I've chosen put in my day bag. So I'm only in for a day, so I'm only a day case. Um, I know some people do stay overnight, um, but they've advised me that it will only be a day case, providing if I'm okay, and then I may have to stay the night. But on a basis, it'll probably just be for the day. So I've got my bag here, which I'm taking. Um, so I'll show you what I've got in it. Firstly, I've took my boot clip with everything in. So I've just brought this just in case it gives me any papers or any notes and I can just put it in here so then it's all in the same envelope. Um, so then it keeps it neat and tidy, really. Um, then I have got my Macam uh, post surgery bra. So the hospital actually give me this bra. Um, so obviously I didn't have to buy anything. It was kind of included in the price. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like. It's very sexy. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. Like I, like I said, very sexy. Um, so I'll have to wear that for four to six weeks. I've got to wear like a post-surgery bra. So I think I'm going to get another one. Um, probably not the Mac and one because like, they are expensive. Um, but I'm going to need like a white one because obviously when I do go into work, I've got white shirts. So... Um, next I've got um, some face wipes um, because I'm going to wear eyebrows, like I'm going to do my eyebrows before I go over because um, I am in the afternoon so it'll be about, I've got to be there for, was it 11.45 so quarter to 12 so I'm going to put some eyebrows on to make myself look a little bit decent and then I can wipe them off before we go down for surgery because you can't have any makeup on, you can't have any tan on, you can't have any nails on, any eyelashes. So you literally strew it to the burr. Oh, I've got a charger. So I've got like a three meter charger. Um, Obviously, because I don't know where the plug's gonna be. Um, So I've got my charger. Just in case my phone dies. Uh, what else have I got? I've got a hairbrush. Um, some bubbles and a hair clip because it said bring something to tie your hair back to brush your hair so I thought I'll bring all three just in case because I'm not sure what I might want on that day. I also have got some moisturiser so I've just got the simple uh, replenishing rich moisturiser. I brought this and Vaseline because they've said that once you have been under so once your surgery is finished you come out very dry like your lips are very dry your skin's very dry so i thought well i need some moisturizer and some vaseline uh, then i brought myself some fluffy socks so they did say like you can bring slippers so i'm going in my sliders um so i brought some fluffy socks just for comfort basically because i get cold then i've got um a little bag just because i've got two actually just because i've got um my second earrings in so I've only had them done eight to ten weeks. So obviously you can't take them out for like long if you get what I mean. So I'll be I'll keep them in as I'm going, but you can't have them in for the operation. So I'll take them out before, and then once it's finished, then I'll be like I'll put put them in here so they don't get lost, and then put them back in. Um. So yeah, and plus I've got my belly bar in, so I'll probably take that out while I'm there as well. Saves faffing. Then I've got my medication, um, so I take fluoxetine uh, and they said you need to bring your prescribed medication in the original box. Um, and then I've just got um, a crispy chunks bar. So these are from Alda and they are like squares bars, well they're banging. Um, and obviously when you come out you're extremely starving because I can't eat from 12pm tonight. Um, obviously my surgery is at well, I have to be there for quarter to 12, so that's like a good 12 hours that I can't eat for. Then I've got to wait till I have my surgery, and then I can eat afterwards. Like, I am going to be parched. I am going to be starving. 
um so i've got that i think i'm gonna take some more little bits of food probably some biscuits so that's all i've got in my bag for now so that's what's in my surgery bag so i am very excited um so i will uh, film some of the day tomorrow good morning guys so um today's the day it is the 23rd of may i've packed everything i'm ready to go so i've got some shagging pants on i'm gonna put um a jacket on and then yeah we're gonna head to the clinic so i have chosen to go on with pal mal medical um so yeah so i have um actually made my bed when i come back um so i'll show you so like this is my setup for later um i've got like this v-shaped pillow i think i'm gonna have get a neck pillow as well just so i've got extra comfort um but this is kind of like my setup at the moment. Okay, so let's go. Just a quick show you my room. So this is what we've got. Um, so I've just been advised to put my gown on and take a wee sample of my socks on. Um, so I'm gonna do that now. Um, but yeah, so I don't know how much I can record while I'm in here, because uh, people, nurses and that are coming in quite often. I'll update you as I can. Like my socks. Nice, aren't they? My toes peeping out. I'm just sat on the bed waiting. Um, I have been seen by the what they called anaesthetic person. So they've just been in. And basically give me a rundown, check everything was right, um, and yeah. Um, the nurse has also been in and done my checks, like my blood pressure, um, my heartbeat. I'm so starving. I'm so hungry. I honestly, I could, I could just eat and eat and eat. Just waiting for my surgeon now come in and tell me what time we'll be going down uh, and then yeah I wouldn't say I was nervous I will say I was excitedly nervous so like I am nervous don't get me wrong but I'm not like shitting myself, if you get what I mean. Right, guys, so I've just had all my markings done and everything like that. And we've been estimated down there five, 10 minutes now, so it should be coming down in about five, 10 minutes. So I'm excited, a little bit nervous now, but let's go and do this. Guys, so I am all done. And I've just had some food um, and I've just drank a lot of water. Um, they took my cannula out and they said that once I've had a wee, I am okay to go. Um, I would have filmed more, but they have just been in and out, in and out. Um, but yeah, look how good. Look. I'm not, I'm not that bruisy to be honest. Um, I think I've fully come out of like the anaesthetic. Like I know where I am. Um, I'm fine. Uh, yeah, it went really well. Um, I was nervous about the needle, and that was it was fine. Um, but yeah, so this is my food: some Cajun chicken sandwich, um, and some salad. Um, but. Um, it was a little like it's just a bit my mouth's a bit a bit dry so it was hard to get it down um so yeah um i should be going home soon then hi guys so i am home um 
I'm still trying to eat, but it's still really dry. Um, so every time I eat, I just drink some water. Um, I'm currently watching TV while having your headrest. Um, but yeah, and that's what oh, my drink's in the way. That's looking like that at the moment. Um, I think this is all I'm going to do for today because I'm quite tired and I don't think I can not fall asleep soon. Um, so what I'll do is when I'm feeling better, I'll do a question and answer about the whole process. So you can just leave your comments down below and then, yeah, I'll just answer them in the whole video um because there's obviously a lot that people want to know so yes well thank you for watching and uh, i'm going to go to sleep soon